There are several reasons that may require a plugin database rebuild. Uh, number one will be signs of corruption on a plugin database. And some of the signs would be that you can't find plugins in scan settings. If the plugin family and the plugin name fields are completely empty, plugins retrieves no results, random items are missing from the UI, such as scans and policies on the home screen, or Nessus UI constantly crashes and reloads when attempting to log in. The plugin database is likely corrupted. Corruption can also cause plugins to run but report no information in the scan results. In such scenarios, you will basically run uh, Nessus D rebuild command. On a Linux system, you'll go to opt Nessus sbin and run Nessus D hyphen R. So I'm already in the folder. We need to stop the Nessus service and I'm running Linux CentOS 7. So I'm going to use system CTL command to stop Nessus D. Right. When the service is stopped, I would run the same command. You'll see there is Nessus CLI, Nessus D, and Nessus service in here. I can simply use Nessus D hyphen R to rebuild the database. Now this command can take several minutes. So I'm not gonna run it. Once the rebuild is complete, you will need to start the service in Linux. You will go same system CTL on a CentOS 7 or later or services for earlier versions. However, there are very key important points to remember. Uh, number one, this rebuilding process can take up to 30 minutes. Number two, please remember the process does not retrieve new plugins from plugins.nessus.org. It rebuilds the plugins that already exist in the installation. And finally, make sure you're logged in as root on a Linux box or as an administrator or Windows platform.